Okay, so recently in math class, recently in math class, we have been talking about Pythagoras and triangles, and when you're talking about Pythagoras and triangles, you come across squares and square roots. Now, there's two different ways to handle a square root if we want to kind of get more information about that, and the two different ways we can look at square roots are with simplification and estimation. Simplification will always be an exact answer, but what symbol will stay in our answer for simplification problems? Olivia. The square root symbol. The square root symbol. Does anybody know a different uh, name for the square root symbol? Right, Winner. Radicals. Radicals as well. So this is the radical symbol or the square root symbol. With simplification, unless it's a perfect square, a radical will show up in your answer. With estimates, you're going to have decimals. With estimates, you're going to have decimals. So first, we're going to simplify the square root of 363. So to simplify the square root of 363, I like to build a factor tree. So with this factor tree, what are two numbers that would make sense to set up as factors of 363? Tally. 121 and 3. 121 and 3. Why is 121 a really good one to pick, Talia? Because it's a perfect square. Because it's a perfect square. And Chet, what's the square root of 121? 11. 11. So we can write 121, and the square root of 121, square root of 3, and then our final step is taking the square root of 121, which is 11 root 3. 11 root 3. Uh, estimation is a little different. Estimation is a little different. How do I start with the estimation for this one? Lisa. Find the two perfect squares that are nearest to it. Okay, so what's a perfect square that's bigger than 363, Lisa? 400. 400, and what's the one smaller? 361. 361. And 400 is 20 squared, right? Mm -hmm. And then uh, that, that means this one has to be 19 squared, right? And then how about, uh, oh. Back over here. Okay, so now we have 19 and 20. So here's my question. Uh, let's stick with Lisa. Lisa, is 363 closer to 361 or closer to 400? 361. Uh, so it's going to be closer to 19, right? So what would you estimate the square root of 363 as? 19.2. Um, 19.2. Like and then somebody else, what is the mathematical symbol for like? Lorna. Yeah, the squiggly. It looks like this. So this means approximately 19.2. Does anybody have a calculator handy? I do. Okay. Yeah, no. So, uh, Robbie, Bobby, can you please do the square root of 3 on your calculator? And then hit enter or whatever the OK button is. Did you do that? Yeah. And now say times 11. Yeah. And then what's your result? I don't think it's right. I got five. He cleared it. <laughs> it okay. Uh, uh, yeah, help me out, Claire. Uh, square root of three times eleven. <laughs> Sorry for the technical difficulties. First one. Bring, ignore it. Ignore it. It's not happening. Nineteen point oh five. Hey, was uh, Lisa's guess good? Yeah. It was. Yeah, it was pretty good. Uh, that's the difference between simplif simplification and estimating of radicals. Yay! Extreme close up.